Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. In today's class, I'm going to cover systems of linear equations in three variables. In our last class, we cover a system of linear equations in two variables. There are three methods to solve a system of linear equations in two variables. Graphical method, elimination method, and substitution methods. And the solution, if it exists, the solution of a system of linear equations in two variables is an ordered pair. So now, in today's class, we will cover a system of linear equations in three variables. So let me start the class right away. Let me begin section 8.2, the systems of linear equations in three variables. First, uh, definitions. A system of linear equations in three variables is a system consisting of three linear equations in three unknown variables. The system is also called a 3x3 three three system. Remember, each equation in the system represents a plane in space, and the standard equation of the plane is of the form ax plus by plus c is equals to d, where a, b, c, d are constant. The solutions to the 3x3 three three system is an ordered triple of real numbers. So, example, here is a 3x3 three three systems, ax plus by plus c is equals to d, ex plus fy plus hz equals to r, lx plus my plus nz equals to k. These are three equations, three unknowns. So, three unknown variables are x, y, and z. And the coefficients are all constant. Here is A, B, C, E, F, H, L, M, N. They are constant. As well as D, R, K also constant. This is the general 3x3 three three systems. So let me give you in particular. Here are the three equations and three unknowns. And this constitutes a 3x3 three three system x plus y minus 2z equals to minus 1, 4x minus y plus 3z equals to 3, and 3x plus 2y minus z equals to 4. Quick side note, when to solve the 3x3 three three system, our goal is to eliminate one variable at a time, and then use the back substitution technique to get a solution. More specifically, we would like to eliminate the variables in the second and third equations until we obtain an equivalent system in upper triangular form. Awesome. The upper triangular form is of this form here. So from this general 3 by 3 systems, we want to eliminate x and y variables from the third equations. Then the third equations, I mean the new third equations contain only z variables and from the uh, second equations of 3x3 three three systems we want to eliminate the x variables then the new second equations contain only y and z variables keep in mind our coefficients are relabeled accordingly and our first equations from the system is as it is here so here all the coefficients below the diagonals are zeros here. So this form is called the upper triangular form. The third equations can easily be solved for z and then use back substitutions to find y from the second equations and by substituting y and z in the first equations find the value of x. So that's the idea. So definition of back substitution technique A process of finding the unknown variables from a system in the upper triangular form is called the back substitution technique. So one more time. So here in the upper triangular form, we can easily solve the third equations for z, then plug the value of z in the second equations, then we got the value of y, and from and from the first equations, plug both value of y and z in the first equations gives us the value of x. Next, let's move on. A remark. 
In this lesson, we solve the 3 by 3 system using eliminations and back substitution techniques, whereas later in sections 8.5, we use the Gaussian eliminations method, which uses matrices instead of equations. Next, steps to remember when solving 3 by 3 systems. Step number 1, write each equations of the system in standard form. So our standard form is ax plus by plus cz equals to d. Let me show you here. Is this form. It's the standard form of the equation of the plane. Step 2. If the, if the x term in any equation has a coefficient 1, interchange the equations if necessary so that this equation becomes row 1. Step 3. Use the x term in row 1 to eliminate x term from R2 and R3, the original R1 with the new row 2 and row 3 form an equivalent system that contains a smaller subsystem of two equations in two variables. Then we can easily solve the subsystems by our previous class methods, solving two equations in two variables. We can use either substitutions or eliminations technique. Step 4. Solve the subsystem and keep the result as the new row 3. The result is an equivalent system that can be solved using the back substitution technique. Great. So now with these ideas, now let's solve a system of 3 by 3 equations in 3 unknowns. Example 1. Solve the system of equations in three variables using eliminations and back substitution technique. So given system is here x plus y minus 2z equals to minus 1, 4x minus y plus 3z equals to 3, 3x plus 2y minus z equals to 4. So we have three equations and three unknown variables x, y, and z. So, the idea is we want to convert this 3 by 3 system into an upper triangular form by using eliminations and then use back substitutions to find the solutions. That's better. Yep. Solutions. Here, all equations are in standard form. So, use row 1 because the coefficient of x is 1. Use row 1 to eliminate x term in row 2 and row 3, so use these operations. Multiply the row 1 by negative 4 and add to row 2. Similarly, multiply the row 1 by negative 3 and add to row 3. So here, so we, are, we are multiplying the first row by negative 4, so negative 4x minus negative 4y. This is minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8, so 8 times z equals to minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. And write the second row as it is here. Similarly, here, multiply the first row by negative 3, so then negative 3x minus negative 3y, then plus 6z equals to 3, and copy the third row as it is. Then, let's solve this two system. So for the first one, add these two equations. So 4x, 4x cancels. So minus 4y minus y is minus 5y plus 8z plus 3z is 11z equals to, and our right hand side, 4 plus 3 is 7. So now we have new row 2. Minus 5y plus 11z equals to 7. Here we eliminated x. Similarly, from this second system here, Let's add these two equations. So 3x, 3x again cancels. Next, negative 3y plus 2y is minus y. Plus 6z minus z is plus 5z equals to on our right hand side 3 plus 4 is 7. So we have new row 3 which is minus y plus 5z equals to 7. So now we have the equivalent system. So First row as it is, x plus y minus 2z equals to minus 1. Let me write down here this one. 
and now our new second row is here minus 5y plus 11z equals to 7 our new row 3 is here minus y plus 5z equals to 7 so now we have this equivalent systems great next let's eliminate either y or z by solving this two new r2 and new r3 so here so now we have our 2 by 2 subsystems minus 5y plus 11z equals to 7 let's copy here and another equation is minus y plus 5z equals to 7 now we have two equations two unknowns we can easily solve by elimination methods so to get rid of the y now let's multiply the second row here by negative 5 and add to the first so then here I, have, I, I use this operations here row 1 minus 5 times row 2 so here copy the first row as it is the second row multiply by minus 5 so that means plus 5y minus 25z equals to minus 35 add these two equations 5y cancels 11 minus 25 is minus 14 and z as it is equals to on our right hand side 7 minus 35 is minus 28 so now we have this new row 3 so solving this last equation here dividing both sides by negative 14 gives us z equals to 2 so now we have this upward triangular form so the first equation as it is second equation as it is third equation is now here z equals to 2 so here so our upper triangular form is this form here now this is the equivalent subsystems x plus y minus 2z equals to minus 1 minus 5y plus 11z equals to 7 which is by the way here it, it's hard for me to show you oh maybe here yeah and then z equals to 2 we just found here now here is all the coefficients below these diagonals are zeros here so no x terms no x and y terms here great so now let's use back substitutions to find the value of x y and z so from the third equation z equals to 2 put this value z equals to 2 in second equations here or second row then z equals to 2 so 11 times 2 is 22 and take 22 to the right hand side so then 7 minus 22 is negative 15 divided by negative 5 it gives you 3 so we have y equals to 3 then finally put z equals to 2 and y equals to 3 in the first equations then we will get x equals to 0 awesome hence the solutions to the given system is the order triple 0 comma 3 comma 2 I hope this makes sense to you all now let's move on quick remark dependent system has infinite solutions whereas inconsistent system has no solutions so let's answer example 2 solve the system of equations in three variables using eliminations and a back substitution technique here is a 3 by 3 systems three equations and three unknowns also for system with linear dependence write answer in terms of a parameter for coincident dependence state the solution in set notations now let's begin the solution first let's try to find the solutions of this 3 by 3 systems solutions here all equations are in standard form so use row 1 of the first equations to eliminate x term in r2 and in r3 so to eliminate x in r2 we need to multiply the row 1 by minus 3 and add to the second row to eliminate the x from the third row just multiply the first row by minus 1 and add to the 
third row. So these are the these are the operations here I'm performing here. So here multiply row one by minus three and add to row two here. So here minus three x maybe that's better that's better minus three x then minus six y plus nine z equals to minus three copy the second row as it is and then let's do this one first then so add these two equations x term cancels minus six y plus five y is minus y plus nine z minus eight z is plus z equals to minus three plus seven is four now we have new second row this is minus y plus z equals to four similarly to eliminate x from the third row multiply the first row by minus one and then add to the third row which i did here so minus x minus 2y plus 3z equals to minus one and copy the third equation as it is add these two equations that's better x cancels minus 2y plus y is minus y plus 3z minus 2z is plus z equals to minus 1 plus 5 is 4. Now we have new third row. This is the equivalent systems here. It's the first row as it is, second row we found here, third row we found here. And here the 2 by 2 subsystem is second row and third row that are the identical. That means our system is a linear dependent system. That means the system has infinite solutions and is a linear dependence. So we start the procedure here. Since the system is dependent, we can find general expressions for the solutions. So from the third equations here, let's write y in terms of z. So y equals to z minus 4. Here, it is here z minus 4. And put this value back in first row. First row is here x plus 2y minus 3z equals to 1. So here, x plus 2y minus 3z equals to 1. So x equals to take 2y and 3z down to the right side. So 1 minus 2y, this is y z minus 4, and plus 3z. So foil this product here. So then 1 minus 2z plus 8 plus 3z simplify it turns out that x equals to z plus 9 so the one possibility of the general solution is this z is as it is y is z minus 4 y value in terms of z and x value in terms of z is z plus 9 so this is the one possibility of the general solutions in terms of parameter if you use a p instead of z then our solutions is this order triple p plus 9, p minus 4, p. Great. I hope this makes sense to you all. Now let's move on. Let's do example 3. Here is a applications problem. As part of a promotion, a local bank invites its customers to view a large sack full of dollar five, dollar ten, and dollar twenty gold pieces promising to give the sack to the first person able to state the number of coins for each denomination. Customers are told there are exactly 250 coins with a total face value of $1,875. If there are also seven times as many $5 gold pieces as dollar 20 gold pieces how many of its denominations are there so the first idea is let's convert this word problem into a, a systems first introduce three variables and construct a system and solve the systems so first what are the unknowns here the unknowns here is a uh, how many dollar five dollar ten and dollar twenty gold pieces. So let's assume that's better. X represents the number of dollar five gold pieces. 
that y represents the number of dollar ten gold pieces, and z represents the number of dollar twenty gold pieces. Then, according to the equations, the total number is two hundred fifty. So x plus y plus z equals to two hundred fifty. Next, the total face value is one thousand eight hundred seventy-five. So 5x, that's better, plus 10y plus 20z equals to 1875. That's another equations. And now third, from this last line here, from the last line, if there are also seven times as many dollar five gold pieces as dollar twenty gold pieces, we represent dollar five gold pieces by x and dollar twenty gold pieces by z. That means we have this relations to x equals to 7 times z. So now we have 3 unknowns and 3 equations. Let's write in a standard form. Let's take this 7z to the left side. So here we have x plus y plus z equals to 250. 5x plus 10y plus 20z equals to 1875. And x minus 7z equals to 0. Okay, now let's solve this 3 by 3 systems. So let's begin here. Use row 1 to eliminate y term. Since there is no y term in our third row or third equations, so let's eliminate y from the second row or second equations. Then use these operations. Multiply the row 1 by negative 10 and add to the row 2. And this gives us the following subsystems. So here, multiplying the first row or first equations by negative 10. So negative 10x minus 10y minus 10z equals to 250 times negative 10 is negative 2500. And copy the second equations as it is. So add these two equations. So here the y terms disappears. So x term is negative 5x left. Z terms positive 10 z left and on our right hand side negative 2500 plus 1875 equals to negative 625 so consequently this is our new row 2 so I wrote here and our row 3 x minus 7 z is as it is there so now we have 2 by 2 subsystems here 2 equations two unknowns. Unknowns are x and z. Now we can easily solve these two by two systems. Now, so here I want to eliminate x from the second equations. So I need to multiply the second e equations by 5 and add to the first one, which I did here. So negative 5x plus 10z equals to negative 625. I copy the first equation as it is. And, and for the second equations, multiply second equations both side by 5. So 5x minus 5 times 7 is 35z equals to 5 times 0 is 0. Add these two equations. x terms disappears. Then we have negative 25z equals to negative 625. Divide both side by negative 25. It turns out that z equals to 25. So finally, we have the following equivalent systems in upper triangular form. So x plus y plus z equals to 250. That's our here, the first row or first equations. Then second row is this one. We have here negative 5x plus 10 z equals to negative 625 is our second row or second equations and then the third equation is we just have here z equals to 25 so this is our upper triangular system so next let's use the back substitutions from the third equations z equals to 25 put this value in second equations then this gives the value of x then put both x and z value in first equation gives the value of y. So that's the idea here. So 
put is equals 25 in second equation. So here's 10 times 25 is 250. Take to the right hand side. That means negative 625 minus 250. And then divide both sides by negative 5. It turns out that x equals to 175. So please, you understand this algebra here. Then put z equals 25 and x equals to 175 back to first equations. Then we will get y equals to 250 minus x value minus z value. x value is 175, z value is 25. Then it turns out that after simplifying y equals to 50. That means now we have all the values here. x equals to 175, y equals to 50 and z equals to 25. So we found the solution of the systems of this systems here. So that means we found the we find the dollar five gold pieces 175 many. We found the dollar ten gold pieces 50 many, and dollar twenty gold pieces 25 many. Great, great. So we finish this sections the system of linear equations in three variables. Thank you.